Hey everyone, it's Lori. This is going to be my second video for today. And what I'd like to show you is, this is a, a sandwich that I learned um, how to cook in France when I went there. And um, I've actually done something different to it, but I won't tell you about that until I get to it. So actually how we start out, I've already gone ahead and uh, fixed two of the pieces. That way we could make this, you could actually see the finished product. So I take uh, real butter, and usually I use unsalted butter, but this time what I had in the fridge was salted. So we take a, just a couple, I've already pre-sliced these also. So we take a couple of the slices. I've got the skillets already heated up there. And let that melt. Then we're gonna add our bread. And the bread that I like to use, I like Pepperidge Farm, the sourdough bread. Just makes the sandwich really good. So we'll let that butter heat up. Almost ready to add the bread there. So we'll go ahead and add our bread. We're going to brown it on each side, so we'll need a slice of butter for each side that we're doing. Spread that out and get that covered. So we'll let that cook a little bit. And then uh, the meat, what I'm going to end up doing, cook the bread and uh, actually, I'll probably go ahead and do it. Let's go ahead and put the ham on there and I just go ahead and use the Kroger honey ham and we'll add that on. Steve actually wants a few slices on his but usually I just put one slice of the ham on there so we'll go ahead and fix mine up there Maybe I'll go ahead and have two slices too. It's been quite a while since I fixed these sandwiches. And, but I wanted to do a little video on that one. So we've got our honey ham on there. And let's go ahead and check. Because I've slept it. It's almost ready. And we can flip that over. So once we do that, um, we're going to cook an egg, and we'll add that on here too. And these sandwiches are just fabulous. I love them. I used to fix them when my mom lived here, and um, we'd sit at the brick or at the table together, and it was kind of really nice just having her and my son and myself, and it was really nice. But anyway. Let's check this again. Okay, that's ready. So we're going to get another slice of the butter. Put that in there. Let that melt. You can kind of see that going. Not much longer now. So we check this out. That one's not quite ready. The skillet's a little thicker, so things don't cook as quickly in that one. But I went ahead and, you know, I do a couple skillets. That way the sandwiches can be ready at the same time and we can enjoy breakfast together. Should almost be about ready. And actually, I can't even kind of believe I'm doing a video on this because I've had a few people that have eaten the breakfast sandwich and then they're like, uh, oh, how do you cook that? And I don't give away. I, I never told them exactly how I did it. So, you know, uh, that'd be, I had somebody, you know, do the, replace some of my plumbing and that's how I got them to do the job. I fixed them breakfast, so. <laughs> Okay, this one's ready to flip over, so we'll let that 
butter melt a little bit. Then we'll get our eggs cooked after that. that going and then we'll go ahead and put the butter up that is left because I cut just enough slices to cook the breakfast with. Have a couple left for the, the eggs. And actually that's one of the key flavors on this whole sandwich is you know cooking everything in the butter. Just makes it really good. That to put up. I think our one piece of bread is going to be ready when we get our egg going. Just throw that up for now. So let's check that. That should be about ready. Yes, it is. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put this aside for a moment. Take this out and go ahead and start cooking one of the eggs. And then you can see that finished product. So I use the just a large egg. Turn this down just a tad bit on the heat also. The egg will cook fast enough. And the other thing I like about this, whenever you cook this sandwich, you don't have to add salt or pepper. The, all the flavors there, you don't need to add anything. So I really like that. So let's go ahead and check our other piece of bread. See if that's... Yeah, that's done also. So we'll put that aside. I just kind of like to wipe the skillet out also. Because then, you know, the butter does turn it a little darker and I like kind of starting out fresh every time and having everything look pretty instead of, you know, the darkness from the butter. So we're just about ready. Um, I'll get this other egg started and then another item that I put on this sandwich is a slice of cheese. So we're about ready for... Get that egg going. Turn the heat down just a tad bit. And there you go if you want to look at those eggs going there. And this is just a really delicious, quick breakfast sandwich that you can fix. And then normally, uh, or what they do over in France that I saw them do, was um, they put the egg on the top of the sandwich. So, but I put it on the inside. And what they do, they lightly, uh, you know, over easy, and then they put it on top of the sandwich and break it, break the egg yolk, and then bring it to you. And that's usually how they do their sandwich. But I put it on the inside. So I go ahead, I think this one's about ready to flip over. And then when I flip it, I go ahead and break the egg yolk. And we still want a little bit of that in the sandwich. I like it that way. ready to see that final product. I think that was about ready. So, let me grab the bread over here. 
So what we'll do, we'll add the egg on top of this. So we'll add the egg on this, or I mean the, the cheese. <laughs> I already have the egg on there. Add the cheese on it, put the final piece of bread on there, and there you've got the sandwich. And this is so delicious. You're going to have to try it. Trust me, you'll love it. So I hope you enjoyed that, and look for, I'm doing a couple more videos today, so uh, we'll get those put on YouTube. And I'll probably have like five total all together today. So uh, one we didn't post the other day on pepper steak. So we'll get that going. And thanks for viewing. And we'll see you soon.